over there. I found it. Yes, you are live, it says. Yay, girl. Our ridiculous accents. That's just what's happening this morning. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Oh, I'm probably not muted on YouTube. Hi, Misty. Hi, Deanna. Hi, my sweet friends. Hope it doesn't echo. I got to skip this ad for here on YouTube. Oh, oops. What happened? All of a sudden, I made YouTube really big. Okay, there we go. I'm back now. What's happening with my YouTube? It seemed to be frozen. Uh, refresh? Maybe refresh. Well, it says you are watching. That's you and me. So Misty and Deanna are gone. <laughs> no, mine says for watching. Well, that's weird. You broke your pooter, man. Oh, my God. Never say that again. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, my God. What did you say yesterday? I couldn't handle it. I don't remember what it was now. Do you recall? Yeah, it was something about scotch tape. Yeah, but you said it in such a way that made me think of crotch tape so i don't remember exactly what happened well i said scotch tape not crotch tape no you didn't say scotch tape you said something else let's just whatever I might have said like smush tape or something no, no, no. it was much closer to a word that reminded me of crotch tape let's just Wow, you're just airing it all out there <laughs> with, our, with our, you know, eight-year-old boy humor that we have. Yeah, but you and Misty have the same sense of humor. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then. That's so good, true. Right? <laughs> That's okay. all. We are trying a completely new... <laughs> exactly. New, yeah. Okay. So we're trying to do new craft today. I know how much you enjoy it when we do that. <laughs> we did not practice beforehand. No. And um, I was inspired. I follow this lady. Her channel is called Smell the Roses. And she only speaks French. And I don't understand a word. But I love the things. So I did put a French, learn French app on my phone. But I actually haven't been practicing. And I should be. But she's the reason I want to learn French so I can know what in the heck she's actually saying. But Kim will kindly sometimes go over and tell me what she's saying, which I appreciate. Yes. She made these canvases that were, of course, Tilda inspired. I fell in love with them and I was like, what a brilliant idea because she's basically just, well, I'll show you what we're going to do. Then you And I have a link to her video below if you want to see what inspired me in the first place. And I decided to use uh, an 8x10 canvas because they're just, they're inexpensive and they're very sturdy. And that's kind of important. Mine's 9x12. Yes. Not that that matters. We're working with what we have. And yeah. I decided I think we should put some batting in there. Thank you, Misty. Because I want to be able to put stick pins in mine and, you know, maybe some safety pins with dangles. And I want it to be kind of plushy. Plushy. So, that's what. Hello, Claudia. Hi, Hi Claudia. So, I'm going to go ahead and glue first my batting down to this uh, canvas. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yes, that is. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this down. Welcome from Brazil. I'm just using some um, Helmar craft glue. I'm using a wet glue. I just want to have, be able to have the freedom of moving it around if I need to. And I'm not going to have that with the hot glue. I mean, I am going to use hot glue for a lot of this project. But for the base layer of this, I'm going to use a wet glue. I don't okay. know. Okay. No, because I would have hot glued mine. Well, you can. It's up to you, really. Come on. I know. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm following you. But I don't know what I'm doing. It's the blind leading the blind here. Well, that should be a fun show then. 
This will be a fun, fun show. I've not tried to do this. I've just been inspired to do this. And this would work with a tiny canvas. You just wouldn't put on as much embellishments. But still a tiny great canvas. And what a cute idea with a tiny canvas making a pen cushion. Oh, Forbes, yes. Yeah. Let's do that now. Thank you for the idea, Misty. You're clever, Misty. All right, let's see how much fabric tech I got. So we're going to sit on a lot. I found them. I'm just going to go ahead and trim up the edges because I really don't want overhang, but I didn't do a nice job trimming in the beginning. I'm just folding mine over the back. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to trim mine up. Just Anybody else crafting today? Oh no, this doesn't go all the way over. Oh, good thing it stretches. It's all good. It's all good. It's still good. It's still good. Well, you should though, Misty. You should. Yes, make it, make it, make it. Make it so, Misty. Make it work. Make it work. And I'm sorry, I, I wasn't in agreement of who won season 12, let's just say. And who did win? I don't mind her work, especially since it was Blade Runner inspired. I don't mind. I like Who was it who won? I don't remember her name. Oh, who didn't win? Who didn't win was the deaf guy, Justin, who I loved loved his stuff but also the other chick that was kind of like quiet the whole season and didn't really make any friends but she does that kids couture camp oh i, I didn't her. like her i don't like her oh i loved her looks i loved no her i did not like her stuff all right misty get alexandria. it get it girl that's alexandria i liked her looks i thought they were hip and edgy and all that well i am not hip and edgy so that's probably why i didn't like her looks <laughs> you know all right you find it and i'm gonna go ahead and cover my canvas with uh some old fabric it's actually a sheet a white sheet i mean i'm using muslin And so I'm just going to lay it flat across there and I'm going to bring it back here. And this is where the hot glue comes in handy because I'll be able to pull it tight. Stretch it around my can here. You know what I'm going to need? The not burn my finger spatula. That's what I'm going to do here. Man, I need to clean it off more often. It's covered in glue. All right. there. That'll do. What's the point? It'll just be covered in glue again. Well, yeah, but I like to start out fresh. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, so I'm going to add some hot glue, and I'm just going to pull this down. Stick it, stick it right down there. And then I'm going to go to the opposite side and pull it tight when I pull it, glue it down. Yeah, okay. you know, pull it tight. Okay. Pull it tight. And I just want to just to state that the, the lady who inspired me does not have a tutorial. So we are making this as we go. Yeah. The project she shared inspired this project. I have way too much up in these corners. Like, I don't need this much fabric up here. Let's cut some of this off. But I'd rather start with too much than not enough. Oh, sure. Mine's still going to have a bit of a crease in it, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right. We're going to cover it up. Yeah. Pretty laces. Lots of laces. Pretty, pretty laces. Yes, I watched your video again this morning. Oh, did you really? 
You said I did. Aw, did it inspire you as well? It did, and I left her a comment and told her I thought it was gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you picked up. Can't believe you. Okay, she found the canvas. Awesome. That's a good start, Misty. Yes, it is. Good start. Okay, now I'm going to... I have pretty much glued my fingers to the canvas, so yay. Great way to start, Kim. Oh, Great. fabric tech is sticky, sticky, sticky. True, true. That glue is burning. Yeah, that's hot today. Hot, hot glue. Hot glue. Hot glue in my corners so they stay for an immediate hold. Yes, immediate hold. Now this is gonna look like a hot mess back here for a while, but when all is said and done, I'm gonna cover it with felt on the back and you're not gonna see this hot mess. Oh, are we covering it with felt? Okay. I think we should. I think I should because it's gonna be messy. Uh, mine's not too messy. Well, mine's going to be messy because I'm going to glue on some lace from the back to peek out around. So, you know, it's going to be messy back here. Okay. Get back here. All right. But There's I mine. It's still a yeah. little greasy, but hey ho. Thank you, Deanna. You have to finish the back, Kim. Hi, Abril. Hi, Abril. Okay. I will finish the back. Yes. Felt on the back. For goodness sakes. And we're done. Well, yeah, when we're done. Because who knows how long this is gonna take. Oh man. This could take a while. So I'm I'm ready whenever you are, because I don't know what's next. Well. Okay, don't rush me. I'm not rushing. <laughs> I have to pull this side tight and glue it down, and then I'll be ready to move on. But I'm also trying to take my time because Misty has to gather her supplies. I mean, she did find. Ow, Bernie! Oh, that is unfortunate. Mm -mm. Are you all right? Well, I have Bernie fingers, but I'm going to live. Okay, good. Ouch. And I have those, you know, when it glue, hot glue balls up and then it just gets stuck on you. Hot glue balls, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Boots. Hi, Boots. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying not to get it too bunched up back. Oh, and I just bled onto my canvas. I got a paper cut on what? I have no paper here. How in the heck did that happen? It's a fabric cut, man. What? I don't know. It's not okay. I got blood on the canvas. Luckily, this part of the canvas, it's up here too. Look, I just bled all over this thing. Did I get any on the front? What? Oh, well, you're going to cover it, so that's okay. You bled for your art, man. I'm going to cover it with art. Yeah, but I was going to try to sell this. I can't sell this with my DNA all over it like that. That's gross. We won't tell anyone. Oh, good. Plus, it'll be covered, so. That's just disgusting. I can't get rid of that all over this. All right. So far, this is going really well, Kim. So far, I've got some big old creases on mine, but that's okay. Blood on the it feels squishy. All right, Misty. Oh, ow, ow! If you're gonna um, don't Stop burn yourself. Yourself, woman. Just don't burn yourself, Misty. It's because that fabric is so thin. Whatever. So now I have a covered, um, stuffed canvas, if you will. So, Misty, that's what you're going for. So, you're going to put down some batting, and then you're going to stretch fabric around it. 
by gluing the fabric to the back, which then you can hopefully not bleed all over like I did. And then when we're all said and done, we'll cover this with felt and you won't see how messy it gets back here. So and I'm guessing the next step is putting lace over it. Well, here's the thing. You can do this however you choose to. Okay. That would be my guess, though. I was thinking about, you know what? Yes, I think I want to add my pockets before I add the trim around the edges. No, I'm talking about covering my muslin. Oh, I'm not going to do that with mine. You go ahead and do that. No, I want to cover it with some lace. Yes, felt. That's a good idea. You can use felt, Misty. If you have, if you don't have batting, but you have felt, you could use felt. Yep. Yeah, I want to cover it with some lace. Well, I will be covering mine, but there'll be pockets. So. I want lace in the background. So I want to get enough to stretch across. I want this to go above my pocket. This is going on my pocket. You have a piece. Well, do you have a piece big enough to cover your? Oh, it's a little canvas, right? So we should be good to go. I need this pocket to be lower. I want this pretty scallop to be at the top of my pocket because that's the part we're going to see. I really want this one lace. I have to get out my step tool because I do have some laces that are out of short girl reach. Out of short girl reach. Out of the reach. Yeah, I think that looks pretty. Oh, it's very pretty. It's pretty pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ooh, that's going to burny burn if I touch that. So let's use this little happy thing that Shannon gave me. I'm putting two pockets on mine. So I'm going to get those ready right now. I am going to use this pretty, pretty eyelet, of course. I love it. Ooh, ooh. Move over. There we go. I'm going to glue this one on first. I'm trying to, I should put a Band-Aid on this finger before I spread more blood on this project. Yeah, probably. I have to go all the way downstairs for that. Oh my goodness, not downstairs. Oh, I don't want to. Here, I'm using my spatula, not my hand. Yay. Okay, that was warm. This is going to be so shabby, shabby. I'm very excited about this project. It's going to be so cute. Oops. Oh, I need to move my glue sticks closer. All right, now I have an adorable little pocket here. I'm excited. Okay, then our next pocket. But first, I'm on pockets, man. I think I want to add this adorable lace. Perhaps I should put some pink ribbon through it or white ribbon. No, pink, white. I can't decide. So yeah. you're layering lace and making pockets that way. Yeah, I'm putting a pocket at the top and I'm putting a pocket at the bottom, but I'm about to put this lace in between. Wow. 
but I'm going to add a ribbon to this. I didn't really know what I was going to be doing. Yes, I need a first aid kit now. I thank you for making a list, Deanna. I need a ribbon. Ribbing. I think I want pink ribbon. Pink, you say? You know. I kind of like pink things, so pink ribbon. I heard that. I heard that you like pink. That's the word on the street. Yeah, it is. Uh, I hope this one isn't too wide to fit through. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Get my water. Okay. Let's just snip some of this excess off. I love this lace. I get it at Hobby Lobby. It's so pretty. It is pretty. Oh, pretty, pretty. Okay. There's my background, finally. Oh, yeah, this will fit nicely through here. Okay. So then, this down though, so it just stays put. Do we do the lace around the edge first? Well, I wanted to um, carry my pocket fabric all the way around the back, so I'm waiting until I'm done with those to add my trim. Does that make sense? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Go with it, Misty. Oh, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Like, I had a plan, and now I don't really know if that's my plan at all. Why? I don't know. Maybe I'll put her down here. If you had a plan, you should go for it. It doesn't have these don't have to be alike at all. It doesn't have to be look like the other ladies at all. It just you you do you, man. Yeah, that's what I plan on doing. Good. It's good. Um, I'm just trying to lay it out. I gotta lay stuff out. I should have figured out whether or not I had this backwards before I started. It doesn't matter. I might put that there, and then so you're just putting like pockets straight across you're not making like little pockets on the side or anything like that well no because i have an eight by ten canvas but you have a longer canvas so you might want to do side by side pockets or up and down pockets however you're doing the canvas i think i'm just going to do straight across awesome hmm. <laughs> I'll put this one up here and then put this one in the middle. This is kind of a thing here. One of the two things that works. It's so cute. Uh, a brill is um, Rosie having a sale tomorrow. Is that tomorrow? I feel like it's tomorrow. I don't want to be sure. I don't want to miss it. Darn it. All right. I have to get a band-aid. I just bled on the ribbon. Okay. I'm gonna make, not good. I'm gonna make you bigger while I go do that. Oh no. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh no. So on her this lady's canvas, she had used tilde paper. So I'm using some prima paper. And I sewed all around it yesterday just to make it look more pretty. So I'm just putting my lace down. This is gonna be a pocket back here, and then this will be a pocket here, and then there'll be a pocket at the top. Um, but then I'm just kind of figuring out 
like what images I want to use. I might put this one here and then put her, I don't know where, I don't know. Or I might put two here and then maybe put this one up here. I don't know. Kind of like that one better actually. I might put this one here. What do you guys think? Oh, hi, Judy. Yeah, I think that's kind of what I'm going to go for. And then I've got lots of like embellishments and things that I can put on here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I do have another image, but I think I'm going to save it for something else. I have this image, but it's fabric. Um, so I might just do a canvas with her on it and just make one big pocket because I have another canvas and then I could just make a fabric pocket with just that image on the canvas. So I think that's what I'm going to use that for. So I think that's the direction I'm going to go. I'm going to use these three images, I think. Hi, Judy. Unless I don't use that and I just use two of the roses. Amy, what do you think? I'm sorry, I don't know what we're talking about. I was gone. Well, the paper. Um, do you like these imp three here, the roses, and then that and this, or should I replace that with the little girl? I feel like the little girl and the lady are fighting for each other. Okay, well then okay. follow the cut. I kind of like that better, or that better. Uh, I don't like that blank card. Roses? Yeah. Okay. Because if you glue that down, you can have another pocket in the front, too. Right? Cute idea. All right. That's what we're going to do. That's the plan, Stan. All righty. I am still steadily threading my ribbon through this lace. That sounds like way too much work. Yeah, but it's pretty. Oh, we're just gonna do it. Um, I need some lace to go around the edge too. What do I have? Do I have enough of this? I don't think I do. Oh, I might. Maybe I should do that first. Oh, I don't know. What, I don't do you do. what do you got there? I was going to put some lace around the edge. Yeah. But I don't know if I have enough of it. So I'm just going to see. Oh, I'm almost done. Goodness sake. Yeah, I don't know if I do or not. Oh, let me see where I need to put this for the second pocket. This is going on the top. Oh, I might just have enough. So, this bottom pocket's going to be shorter. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Yep, just enough. Okay, that's what we're going to do then. All right. I'm going to put that on first. If I can figure out which way is the front and which way is the back, that would be awesome. Okay, that's the back. Okay. Let's do it. Great. Oh, I just love this across there. It's so cute. So I have the pocket on top. Now I have this ribbon in the middle. Now I'm going to add this bottom pocket. I don't want it to be as big as the top pocket. So I'm going to pull it down a little bit. So there's my little thing for this bottom pocket. I'm going to make sure it fits. Oh, yeah. 
but really what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue this pocket down, but then I'm going to end up making this two little pockets because I'm going to glue this straight down to the canvas. Two little side pockets. When all is said and done. Do it. It's already so cute. So I'm just pulling these tight around the corners like I did with the fabric I covered it with. Oh, Bernie, Bernie. No, Missy, are you still with us? <laughs> How's it going, lady? How's it going? Well, I think I want to fold these in before I glue this down. Let's see. It looks nicer if you do that. Yes. Are you thinking what in the world have I gotten into? Is that what you're thinking or? <laughs> Are you thinking this is the last time I let any kid talk me into something? No, it's not. You know it's not. <laughs> what are you saying? It's easy for us to talk Misty into doing things? It might be. Oh! Mm -hmm. That's more of a comment on us than it is on her, though. Okay. All right. My husband's coming through the door and making a lot of noise, just so everyone knows. Awesome. Welcome home, Dougals. I'm not sure what he's bringing in the door, but it sounds heavy. <laughs> All right. So I've got my pockets, my pretty trim in the middle. Now I'm going to put whatever trim I'm going to use around my edges, around my edges. I'm going to mute for a second and I'll be right back. All righty. I'm trying to decide if I want to use that. I'm going to try this out and see if I can find the end. Do you ever hide the ends of your lace from yourself? Yeah, that's a thing. I like this, but because it's double like that, it might be a little too, too much for the edge. That's a little ridiculous. That's too much. That's too much. Do I have enough of this eyelet? I do love an eyelet. And I don't have to put it around the bottom because, of course, I'm going to put a pretty lace that hangs off the bottom. But, oh, I kind of like this eyelet. Let's see if it'll pull it off around before I even get into this mess. And it does. Boom. We have eyelet trim. Let's do this. So I'm going to glue it straight. Okay. Oh. I'm here now. Oh, good. Welcome well, back. I put this around the edge. So that's pretty. That is pretty. That's Nola lace right there. I like I like how that turned out. That's pretty pretty. All right, now it's time to put some of this here stuff on it. Ooh, that's nice. Also from Nola. Well. Also from Nola. That's Nanny's Attic on Facebook, people. Yeah. So I finally have um made like a purchase or I have like an ongoing till with with Nola and she um, had messaged me you know because I've never ordered from her before just to let me know how it goes you know mm -hmm. and she had mentioned I know you moved and I don't know any of the details you know or anything like that and she didn't ask any of the details but I have diarrhea of the mouth <laughs> <laughs> I think she probably meant the shipping details Am I wrong? Uh, no, it sounded more like, you know, I don't know the circumstances 
or what happened and you move type of thing. So I probably gave her way too much information and I might have scared her because she never messaged me back again. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh she's a sweetheart. She'll message back. I have no, you know, I'm not, I don't have secrets. If you ask me, I'm going to tell you. If you don't want to know, nope. then don't ask. But she did not directly ask in her defense, but. No. She's, she's also in a different time zone than we are. Yeah, but this was a few weeks ago. I'm just saying, I think she was probably like, whoa. <laughs> you know what I mean? TMI. Uh, TMI. I, t I, t I think I TMI'd her, man. I'm going to put this on here. I finally have a home for it. Ow. Oh, this is going to look good. I'm so excited about this project now. I feel like I want to make a few of them. Ooh, a ballerina one, Misty. I love it. Yes, I'm very excited about this project, too. And I'm thinking if it looks half as good as I like to pretend it's going to end my mind, I probably will make more. Yes. Yes, please. It's gonna be pretty. I'm about a canvas covered in lace. Yes, please. Well, we did art journal yesterday, so this is about getting our shabby on, I guess, today. Yay! It's my favorite. I know. Get our shabby on. Makes me know it's your favorite. It's not a secret, is it? No, it's not. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Oh, that's a little warm. Please protect your fingers from the hot glue. Well, you kind of can't. No, you can, people. You can. I don't. I don't know how, but all right. So I love the eyelet ruffle around the edges. Oh my gosh, yes to that. And well, there, ow. This, oh, be careful with my friend. Be careful. There is this beautiful lace. I love, love this lace so much. That's going at the bottom of this canvas. I don't know what's going at the bottom of mine. No clue. Yeah, Mine's going to be more vintagey, I think. It's going to be a bit shabby, but going to be like shabby vintage which is more me not pretty in pink like miss amy <laughs> okay I'll look how cute that pocket is though i love this pocket with this trim from nola i love it so much pretty these are so fun i love these already i don't want to use that lace hmm. And I do have a link below in the description box to the lady who inspired these canvases. But if you don't speak French, you're not going to understand what she's saying, but you can still admire the beauty. That's yes, what I you can. I admire the beauty. I have no clue what she's saying, but I don't have to. Well, you don't have to, girl. You have to know to know that I love her work. Yep. Uh, yep. She lives in my dream craft room. I'm just saying. I just don't think I could have that craft room because I just don't think that I could, um, like with doing mixed media too, I just feel like if I had all those pretty things and everything covered in lace and everything, it would be covered in sprays. I'm sorry. That is my dream space. It well, is. I'm sure it would be nice to do it, but I just, don't think I can because it would just be covered in spray. I would give up hmm. sprays for that craft room. <laughs> what? I'd give up sprays for that craft room. I would no, I could not do that. I, I would definitely. I couldn't do that. No, 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 no. I no, am no, no, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. This one goes this way. All right, so before I move on, I want to add the two main features of my canvas, which is this adorable Tilda Friends in a frame surrounded by eyelet lace, like every good thing should be. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You're going to have yours done way before me. 
it's going down here, right here, right here. And then this is from a Tilda paper pad, an offering of friendship. And I just glued it down on chipboard and then I surrounded it with more eyelet lace because it's my favorite and it's what's going on the top. But I'm gonna use this to glue that down because I want the top pocket to remain wide, but I'm gonna glue this directly down to the canvas and then just have two smaller pockets on the side. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna start with the top one. Do I want a doily? Do I want to trim behind here? Uh oh. I do not know. No. Nope. I, I like the idea of a doily, I think. Let's get up the doily box. The doily box. The doily box. Let's open the doily box. I love the doily box. That's some asthma for you. Opening the doily box. <laughs> she gently opens the doily box to see what's inside. Waffles through. Waffles through the laces. I love these heart doilies that Julie sent me. Oh, those are pretty, yeah. Uh, how cute is that behind there? Let me think of a white one, though. I think I want a white one. It might be too big. Okay, don't get glue on your lace, Kim. Thank you, Deanna. What'd she do? She said so pretty. Aw. So pretty, so pretty. You are way ahead of me. How is that? How am I ahead of you? What does that mean? You already got a bunch of stuff on yours. I'm still making a pocket. This stuff isn't glued down. I'm just laying out. I'm just I'm laying out. I just like glued stuff, man. I'm just laying out. It's not a race. Okay. It's not a race. Okay, dude. Thanks, man. Ooh, here's a Battenberg heart. Hello, beautiful. Oh. You and your fancy Battenberg. I like, oh my gosh. Yes, that's happening. Okay. All right. I need now to put these doilies away. I need a wider piece of cardstock so I don't glue stuff down. I just love this term so much. You know, I love doilies and Brill. I love them. I am a doily girl. Ooh, that's a little bit hot. A little bit. So basically, I'm going to glue it to the front of the pocket and to the uh, cardstock, and then I'm going to rip that cardstock off so I can still have a pocket. So now I got two pockets. I got this pocket, and I got this pocket. Oh, who doesn't love Battenberg lace? It is by far my favorite. It is. I love it. My favorite. Is it your favorite? But I love all the laces, so don't get me wrong. I love all of them. I think somebody has hand crocheted this trim. Look at the thread is still on it. Oh my goodness. I feel bad cutting it, but I want it for this po top pocket. Well, then you don't feel that bad. Top pocket. <laughs> <laughs> wow, now I'm craving a hot pocket. Like, we'll right? Just happened. Yeah. But it's today's top pocket. A lace hot top pocket. Yeah, I'm sorry, person who made this. You did a beautiful job, but now it's cut. That's what, it's it. That's what it was meant for. It's being loved on. Yeah. I'm already in love with this, just at this stage. Like, maybe I shouldn't put anything else on it because I don't want to ruin it because it's so pretty right now. See, it's not a it's not a race. Misty isn't even doing a pocket yet. 
Well, there you go. We're just chilling and crafting together. It's good times. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Misty, you should come on and craft with us sometimes on live. I like for everybody to see. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Yes, and I'm sorry I missed your live Monday. Like, I'm going to have to make a note of that. Is she going live on Mondays? Apparently, well, she did this Monday. I don't know if it's a regular thing. You need to let us know, Misty. Oh, yeah. She's like, I can't get anything done if I have to keep getting in this chat box. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know what? I wish I didn't break my heat gun yesterday so I could get some of these glue strings off. Oh, yeah, God. that kind of sucks that ha that happened yesterday. Yeah, I know. And I didn't even order another one yesterday because I forgot about it. And now I remember because I wish I had my heat gun right now. Would you have had it by today, though? Well, no, but at least it'd be one day closer. To That's be true. Here. So I'll try and remember to remind you when we get off of here, but don't count on it. Okay. I have pockets. Yay. Anybody have your pocket? Let's see. What do I have for dirties? Dirties. Okay. Who is that character that says everything with the R in it? Hello. I have uh, no idea, but if for some reason Jim Carrey is coming to mind. African American. Uh, Southern. Hello. Who is that? Somebody, Medea, thank you. Oh, is it? Okay. I haven't seen any Medea, so I don't know. My ex husband was obsessed with Medea, so we watched every Medea, everything. <laughs> Interesting. I kind of remember that. Yeah, that was a thing in my life. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love it. All right, let me add the little, the little heart. Little, little heart in the middle of my little heart. And hello to my little heart. We should do a contest when we um, are crafting because we make so many movie references and then see who gets them first in the chat box. Yes. Good plan, Stan. Bling frame. I love the sound of that, Misty. Yeah, me reminding Amy is funny. That's true. And it's, it's quite hilarious. I thought I'd throw that out there to see if anybody caught it, but you know. <laughs> Deanna was on that because she was laughing out loud. Yeah, I don't know if I like this on the top pocket, but. Hmm. Okay, so my pocket is still intact and all of my pretties are adhered. Love it. I don't know what I want to do here. Let's get these out, see what I want to do. You don't watch movies though? They're almost always movie references. Like, I just did a Scarface reference. And then we had Medea. And there's usually almost always going to be, well, there is going to be always an office reference, and that's a TV show, because I can't help myself. Yeah, I do use references from shows, so I can't say that I don't. Okay, and then maybe this one here. I wish I didn't put this cream this one here and this one here. Very cream eyelid around here, but I don't. I kind of like that. Just have a bit of the doily peeking out. Adorbs. A bit of doily. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Now what? Now. Now what? Now I just don't know. It's always something. Now what? like the perfect size to go on the bottom there all right now i have two little side pockets because i just glued that right down there right it might, the perfect pink. it might be the perfect pink now i'm ready to embellish do it girl oh yes and then this could go here in this beautiful box that olivia hernandez made for me i love i love 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 this box I keep it next to my bed to make flowers. So if I'm watching something with my husband, I'll just make flowers. So I think I'm gonna put some of these flowers on some clothes pins and put them into my pockets. Yes. Hmm. I keep my little needle book that we made in here too with my needles in it. That's too not the right pink. Two not the right pink. You're not the right pink. I can speak gooder. <laughs> I speak gooder. You do. I, do. I do. I speak gooder. Oh, yeah. I like that. That fits. Pieces are fitting perfectly. Yay! I like perfect pieces. Perfectly fitting. Oh, this is pretty for that. Oh, I feel yeah. like I need another. Another kind of dangly bit. I'm sorry, what? We need a dangly bit lace. We need a dangly bit. That's what she said. Maybe this one and then that on top. That's what I feel like. I need those peanuts. Oh, these are already covered in lace. Yes, that. Oh. Only one is. I'll just use two blank ones. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'll show you when I'm done. Because I'm doing the bottom of the canvas. Okay, I like that. All right, let's move these again. Okay, let's glue. Let's glue. I need some flower centers here. I'm thinking buttons. Buttons. Do the buttons. Button. Who's got the button? This will be pretty. I like it. Hmm. I think I can't go to watch disaster movies. I love disaster movies, and he he doesn't even watch it. I, I don't care for disaster movies either. I'm about it, man. I like comedies. Well, I like a good comedy also. Get in there. I'm concentrating very hard on what I'm going to put in the middle of my flower. Concentration. Okay. Me like it. You like it? 
मिला है मिला है कि मिला है कि मिला है कि Pardon me. You okay? I have a little tickle in my throat. You got water? Yes, I do. Also, have to squeeze. <laughs> oh my goodness, your allergies, girl. I know. Come on. I think I want these wooden heart buttons. Try it out, Misty. That may work just fine. Thanks, Deanna. I don't know if you can see it, but thanks. I'll sh I'll show it when I'm finished. Ooh, hot! That's some hot stuff right there. Hot potato. Yes, very hot potato. Stick down. Okay. Now we're going to do this. Because that finishes that off quite nicely. Quite nicely. Totally cute. And I can put some bling in there or something. Something good in there. Something good. Yes, ma'am. Something good. Okay, so that's what I did on the bottom. Well, that's pretty. Yeah. That's my bottom. Just got a little bit of pink back here, which is all I kind of wanted. Because there'll be other pink up here. So I didn't want to have a ton of pink at the bottom. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yes, ma'am. And I might make some lace flowers towards the end, you know, when we're embellishing. I'm already embellishing. Oh, boy. You're way ahead of me, woman. It's not a race, man. It's not a race. I know. But you were ahead of me, girl. I, mean, I'm gonna flip it. I want that to be back there like this. I want to look at it. Now, how do I glue this onto the pocket? I guess I'll have to put something behind the pocket. Yes, I used cardstock. Yeah. I'm happy that I sewed these yesterday, though. Very nice touch. Yeah, I like that I did that. Okay, so we're going to do that, and then... I'll do this here. Stacy, another one. Another one there. Get that one with the top. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna do that. Okay. It's so cute. All right, now, now I want. To, I made these dangles that were inspired by. That chick's video because she had little spools hanging off of her clothes. That's what I'm gonna do with mine. I made these this morning because it's so cute. You made your embellishments already? Oh, you showed your images, so don't with me. I don't know what to say to you right now. I just made the clothespins right now in front of everybody. I just uh -huh. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh my. Goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. But I do also have a tassel. Yeah, I like that. Handmade bows I whipped up this morning. And I was thinking about putting this somewhere on here that I made on um, Kim's a couple of weeks ago. <clears throat> this would be very pretty hanging above my desk. I think it's cute, man. It's cuteness. 
Oh, you know what? I can hang this off of a bulb pin. Yes. That's the bulb pins. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad we could be of service, Deanna. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this does. All right, let me just pin it. All I have to do is pin it right on. See, I love that this is like quilted. <clears throat> I'm done. What? <laughs> just kidding. Oh, you're funny. Well, I try, you know. I'm just scooch it over a little bit though. I'm, like, I'm just trying. Just trying to make you laugh. Hmm. Yes, I want to use that. Okay, let's start a gluing. I need something. Start a gluing. Now, I had a thing. Where did I put that? This here thing. You had a thing. Had a thing. So let's do that first. Let's glue this down first. These are pretty cool. Yeah. 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 What? 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 What you saying? These are turning out all right. These are these will do. These will do. Get in there. Okay. Get in that pocket. I need a big bow. What am I gonna make it out of? Stretch this doily. Things are still, they're turning out really cute. Doily stretching. Sounds painful. Now, you know, you need to stretch your dirty. Dearly. Stretch your dirty. Okay. Okay, I don't need to glue that side down, but got that underneath there. Thank you, ladies. Okay. Now we glue. Look out, now we're gluing. We are just gluing up a storm. I like this. I'm going to put a little flower applique in the corner with my bows, and then I'm going to have these hanging out from underneath that bow. So, I like it. Do it. I'm going to put these in my pocket so I don't glue my pocket shut. I do not want to glue my pocket shut. No, I'm hoping I don't do that either. <clears throat> Tim Conway. We will get the show. He used to do something like that on the uh, Never Met Show. What did he do? Never mind. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Just never mind. I am a big Tim Conway fan, and I was very sad when he passed away. I think that was last year. Sure, Burnett. It's just good times. It's just right? Good. When I was a kid, man, we would watch that every Saturday night with my family, and we would just laugh and laugh and laugh. So funny. Yes, I just aged myself. So I saw them in, the, in their original form. <laughs> well, you What are you talking about? You're like nine years younger than me or something. You sure you saw them in their original form? Well, yeah. My family watched it at Prime Time. Oh, all right then. So you're almost as old as me then. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't glue my pocket shut. That's good. Hey, me. Misty said yes, May of last year. Yes. So you can slide something down behind my lady here too. Look at all these pockets you're going to have. Yeah. 
So you can put something in this pocket and you could slide something in that's in secret back there. In like secret. my big my big million dollar money stash I could put back there. Oh yeah. You know no robber's gonna look there. Let's no see. robber is well nobody what? No robber would look there. Unless oh, I announce it on a live and then somebody sees it. Deanna is the one who said may have last year. Sorry about that. It was a quick glance. Just did a quick glance. Yes, Tim Conway is one of my all-time favorites. Absolutely. Him and Harvey, come on. That is just some fun right there. Good times, for sure. I remember the sketch where Tim was the old man and Harvey was like this military soldier. I think it was like Civil War or something. I don't know what, what war it was, but anyway. But Tim was the old man general. Oh no, he was an old man soldier. And Harvey was like the general. And he wanted old man Tim to load the cannon. And he couldn't lift up the cannonball. And then when he finally lifted up the cannonball, it fell down the front of his pants. That sounds made, right. made a thud and Harvey just lost it. That's one of my favorite scenes with those two. It's so funny. Yes, I love how they crack each other up. That was a good time. Yeah. All right, so I made them dangling off of the string and they're cute. You dangled them. I dangled them. Yeah. You like your dangles, don't you? Maybe I do. <laughs> maybe you do. Maybe you don't, but maybe you do. Okay, I like that. I like that a whole lot. I'm very happy with that corner. Yay for that corner. Yay, the corner. Okay, more doily stretching. I'm going to put this back here. So I don't glue it shit. I don't know which way doily is up. It might be that way. Oh, hot. So anybody got any exciting plans for the rest of the week? Yeah. I know I do. I start my summer job Friday. <sighs> no. I know. It's that time. I'm sorry, man. Well, it'll be better than last year. Yes. Yeah. Just a few weeks out of the summer. It's okay. Dance is what you got going on, napping? Is that what you're gonna do? Is that what you're gonna be doing? There are, you cannot infer that from what I am saying. <laughs> although it's possible. Nothing wrong with a good nap. That's crazy that he's old enough for preschool, just crazy. more glue stick. I 
I got some napping going on and I got some store stuff going on. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, I like my no stress life. It's fun. Okay. And she said that a while back, you or a couple last week, what did she say? A few weeks ago, you said your plans for the day was a nap. So, of course, she would legitimately come to that conclusion. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, I do have one scheduled for later. It's possible. <laughs> Listen, I worked since I was 16 years old, so. What's that mean? I'm I'm retired now. Okay. I am retired. Which that has the word tired in it. <laughs> so naps are a good thing. There's a question for everybody. What was your very first job? Are you ready for it? Do you know what my first job was? Let me think. Were you living in Texas? No. Were you living in Germany? No, I was living in Missouri. Missouri, right. Okay, that was my next guess. So you're living in Missouri. I want to say emos taste tester well you know in my spare time but they didn't pay me for that right that's what i want to say but so i don't know i actually don't know unless have you told me before and i've forgotten probably i don't even know i don't know if it's ever come up really oh my goodness it's never come up okay i don't think so misty that's awesome i wish i had like an awesome first job but i sold trash bags over the phone that is an awesome job. What are you talking about? I was a telemarketer and what I sold was trash bags. You don't have to go out of the house for that and you can stay in your pajamas. Why is that not an awesome job? No, back then you couldn't work from home and do that. I had to go into a place where there was a bunch of us with a bunch of phones trying to talk over each other and sell trash cans, bags. Not oh, well, that's less awesome then. It's way less awesome. If you did it nowadays, though, you could stay home and it'd be awesome. But I hang up on people who call me at home and try to sell me stuff on the phone. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what my first job was? No. I haven't told you that either. Well, I don't know what your first job was. I know some of your jobs that you've had, but I don't know what your first one was. Wow. Something we're learning about each other right here, right now. Yeah, six years later. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> my first job was working in a greenhouse. Oh, wow. In the summer when it's hot. In the summer when it's hot. <laughs> I had to, you know how when you plant a bunch of seeds and they all grow in a clump? Yeah. You know? I had to take those clumps and pull every little seedling apart and plant them separately in those little six cell pack things, you know, that you get your plants in at the, the garden yeah. center. So I had to plant each little plant in those six cell things. Well, that's an important job. It is, but it was hot as you know what. It was hot. It was hot as we need a jar. Yes, because she grew up to have a, uh, a florist shop. Yep, I did. So it definitely must have given her the green thumb bug. My second job was a waitress in my father's restaurant. I was never a waitress. Everybody, you're welcome. Because I would have been the worst waitress. Oh, as, clumsy and, no. as clumsy and forgetful as I am? Oh, no. You weren't that forgetful when you were 16, were you? Sure. Yeah, lifelong battle. 
Well, that's why they give you a, a little pencil and a pad, right? That stuff down. Things has always been a thing. Wow, Judy's first job was preparing, re pre-arranging funerals as a telemarketer. What? Oh. No, no. Wow, Deanna was factory working. Whew. Yeah, I do have a green thumb. I've always had a green thumb for some reason too. Factory working, that's hard. That's a hard job. That's a hard, hard job. I am going to use the little fancy McFence that you sent me. Oh, you were going to use it. Cute. I'm going to use it. Yes, I am. Okay. I made some buttons yesterday. I think I'm going to use a couple. It's adorable on this project. I'm going to put them right here on her because I think they'd be pretty, pretty. I want to use these ones. Where's another one of those? I have got to find my stick pins. I want to put some stick pins in this. Yes, yes, yes. That looks so good. Those are going to go right there. I'll put two stick pins in there. Okay. I think I might make a little. What do I do with my red? Well, this came together kind of quickly. I was expecting we wouldn't even get it done on this live. Huh. Really? Oh. I'm excited about yeah. how this went along. <laughs> Love the stick pins. Wow, Deanna. <laughs> That's an important job. You know, I need my to and from Christmas tags. I'm sorry. Yep. That is very important. All right. For this to go around the edge. I don't know if I do. I'm going to make me bigger just because I'm done. Oh, show me. You're, you're done? Well, I don't think I need to put any more on here. Okay. I think it's, I think, well, I got to cover the back and felt, but I don't have to do that right now. But yeah, I'm, I'm not done, but I'm almost done. This is so cute. I love the spool charms. Okay. I like want to make a hundred of these spool charms now. Yeah. I'm going to make one of those. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's I've got my two pockets. This one has a clothes pin in it. There's nothing sticking in this one right now. I've got this dangle charm that I made on Kim's. Yes, I gotta put a hanger on it too. I've got a giant pocket behind this, another pretty clothes pin here. And because this is quilted, I just stuck two two clo uh two little what are these called? Stick pins. Stick pins, sure. <laughs> two stick pins. But and it's cute, right? It's cute. It just turned out so much cuter than I even thought. I can't wait. I'm gonna make more of these. This is adorable. Okay. Is adorable. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. I'm going to make you bigger. So we'll just watch you work on yours while I eat chocolate. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, man. I'm going to put the hanger on mine and cover the back and felt, but I'm going to eat chocolate first. Okay. This is just a little kilt pin charmy charm I had. Super cute. And then this is a little um, crocheted heart that somebody made me a long time ago. So I'm going to put that on here as well for like a little pin cushion. Adorable. I'm going to use, um, well, I had it here, but I'm going to use a little bulb pin. Or right now we'll just use the safety pin. How about that? It's a little tiny, tiny gold pin. So we'll do that just for... Just for that so yeah okay so and then i'm going to put the little fence over here and then so pocket pocket 
but behind each of these pieces of card is also a pocket. So back here is a pocket, back here is a pocket, behind the ladies a pocket, and then I have this big pocket here as well. So there's actually six pockets on here. Wow, that's cool. So, um, yeah, so, you know, I mean, I, I'm going to put some pearls down at the bottom here, you know, on the bottoms of this. And these are my handmade buttons I made yesterday. So, yeah, it's it's really pretty. It is really pretty. This turned out adorable. It really did. And I have a, I might use this. This is a little Amy Love thing that I might put on here, right there. Oh my God, that's cute. With the little fence from Miss Amy, because I like it. But I feel like I want to put something back there. I don't know. I also have this really pretty butterfly. I don't know if I might put that there or something. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you don't you have know. to be in a rush. I don't know, man. There. That looks cute right there. It does, actually. So I might put that there. Thank you, ladies. I want to make more of these. These are cute. What a fun addition to the craft room and another place to stick stuff. Because we all need another place to stick stuff. Yep. And I have these adorable little scissors that I want to put on here somewhere. So I might put them there, but I think I want to paint them white. And then I want to make my little, I also have this cute little wooden hanger. So I don't know if I'll put that on here or not. I might do that. But I want to make my little spools with this pink ribbon. Yes, the little spools. Why you do that, I will show you what I did the other day, Monday, when we didn't get on. Yeah. I went ahead and made the tutorial for these. I haven't uploaded them yet, though. They're little spools. Judy, Judy got some of the last ones I yep. made. And so they have encouraging happy words at the bottom in the word bead. They have a little lobster claw. And then you can unpin it. Maybe. And you open it up. And it's got something cute on the inside, too. This one says, you are enough. Aww. You're so adorable. Adorable. So I did make a tutorial finally on this, but I have to upload it. So who knows when that will be. When that will happen. Because it has to upload all overnight. And yeah. I like to play words while I'm falling asleep. So I can't do both. Okay. I can't play words and upload a video at the same time. No, no, no. No? No. You sure? Yeah, I tried. Okay. Thank you, guys. They are cute. I just love them. Super good. Super adorable. I feel like I want some bling on here. So basically that's it. I'm finished. <laughs> You're finished? Yeah, I'm just gonna add my little my little spools. That's about it. Okay, I'm getting ready to add my hanger. Then I'm going to cover my back in felt. And then I think I'm done with this one. But I might make some more of these little spool charms just to have them ready for when I make another one of these because I will. It's so cute. And if you guys have the time, go check the chick out that inspired these. I think hers are just beautiful. Yeah, they are. I love them. I love them too. And of, as usual, we have no idea what we're making next week. No, no clue at all. 
And I don't usually make up my mind until the day before we go live. Or the morning of. That too. That happened yesterday. Yeah. Well, you know. Thank you, Miss D, for putting her link in there. And oh, tomorrow, uh, Rosie is having a sale at I don't remember what time. <laughs> at, we don't know what time o'clock. Yes. But those of you who know Rosie, you know. Just you figure it out. It's, <laughs> there's going to be a sale. I'm going to be there. You should be there too. And I will see everybody next Tuesday um, on Kim's channel, I hope. Yes, at 11 a.m. Eastern. And we will post pictures of our finished little canvases here in our groups. Yep, that's pretty much how mine's going to be. I'll put my little, my little things there. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put that there. But that's it. We got a little pin cushion. We got some spools. We got a kilt pin. Bling. Lots of pop. So, <laughs> yeah, it's adorable. I love it. Thank you, Amy, for sharing her inspiration well, thank you thank for you. being here man thank you man thank you everybody for watching and we will see you guys next time bye, bye.